Hey y'all, it is Monday, December 13th, 2014, and this is my week 51 post-op update. Although I think it really should be week 50, because I'm in week 51. No, next Wednesday is my, yeah, no, no, never mind. I'm correct. I am correct. It's my week 51 recap. Sorry guys, completely out of it. Um, so 51 weeks banded. And I am loving it. This week, I'm 172.2. That's a 0.8 pound loss this week. I was hoping for more because if you know or if you follow my channel, I uh, am a daily wear. And I do not let the scalp dictate my mood. But I do like to see if I'm, if I'm making good progress or if I need to change something up or if I need to step something up. or. Anyways, um... I saw I was finally out of the 170s and the weekend came and guys I was so careful usually the weekend fat girl she kind of wins this weekend I put the bitch in check we did my husband's family get together for his birthday which is coming up this week and I didn't indulge I was very careful very good <sighs> the weekends um I also think part of it has to do with swelling in my knee. Um, some days it's good, some days it's bad. Sunday we did do a lot of errands. By all, well, I mean we did four stores. Um, but I decided to go without my compression brace just to see how my knee would do. Um, won't be doing that again. <laughs> it was very weak, very tired, and very swollen again. Uh, very swollen. So, whatever. I'm still happy to have a loss. 0.8. It's almost a pound. I am excited for that. I will still take it. Um, so that brings my total weight loss since January 22nd, 2013 to a total loss of 54.4 pounds. So very excited about that. Um, and my total weight loss since I started my medically supervised weight loss diet or plan or man, whatever. My insurance approval. I've lost 119.2 pounds, and from my highest weight in March 2012, I am down 127.8. Very excited about that. This week's NSV, um, if you watched my knee update video with my one-year uh, lab information, I, um, I was told that I have really great legs, which is awesome because I take pride in my legs. I loved working out my legs really well. And it's something I hope to continue, even though with my knee injury, whether it be with the bike and slowly, very slowly building up resistance. And I will talk about my exercise with the bike in a second. Or finally being able to get on the elliptical without the crunching, no pain. Um, either way, I still want to define my legs. Um, so that was very awesome to be told that my legs are in really good shape. Uh, very muscular. And then also I was able to go get some workout gear. I had gotten some gifts from my mother. Um, my sh Some of it was too big and some of it we didn't need. Um, so she said I could return things and I did and I got store credit. And I bought size small Under Armour shirt and I love it. Except on the back it says we run and I'm like I'll feel like a total idiot if I wear this to the gym and I'm on the bike with a we run shirt. But I've always wanted to try Under Armour, so I'm really excited and I can't wait to try it out. And it's a small. And then I bought new yoga pants, which are in a small as well. And I'm like, holy. Who, who the? I'm in small workout gear. I do not see myself as a small, and that's just phenomenal to me. Because the mediums, they fit. And the medium fit in the top. However, I have 40 more pounds I want to lose. Um... 40 more pounds, that's a lot. And especially as you get smaller, the sizes change more drastically. Um, so I didn't. I got the smalls. And they are wearable in public small. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Fucking small. Oh my god, I don't think that'll ever get old. Um, I mentioned that I'm riding the bike. And whenever I first get on the bike, the system itself starts you at a resistance 8. I cannot push that down at all and before I got injured I actually tried the bike um, as a warm-up for my squats and I took that resistance up to a 14 because the eight I was just like <laughs> now I'm just like oh I gotta take it all the way down to a one to be able to do it I did do a two on the resistance level for like 10 minutes but I noticed I got my leg my knee got more tired 
it got tired faster. Um, no pain, of course, guys. If there's any pain, I am stopping anything I'm doing with pain. Um, at least not until I get my MRI. I get my MRI tomorrow. Hopefully, I can schedule my appointment with my orthopedic um, soon after that. Uh, and we shall wait and see what goes on with that. And I will wait and discuss that with my orthopedic surgeon. And we will discuss the best plan for me. However, I am ready to start physical therapy to start strengthening Mean my muscles around it and so that way they don't get so fatigued so fast um, but my brace definitely does help keep things tight and I think it helps keeps the swelling down so we will see how it goes on that but like I said today is Monday make it rain Monday obviously I do not make it rain anymore right now um, I am going to try the elliptical today hopefully I can work up a little sweat on that we will wait and see but if I'm not making it rain Monday you guys make it rain Monday, alright? And I might turn Mondays into muscle Mondays for a while. Since I am not going to be focusing on cardio so much right now because I can't. I want to focus on muscle definition and muscle building. I want to build up my core. I want to work on my arms some more. Um, I haven't really done any weights since my knee injury. Actually, I haven't done any weights this year, 2014. So I am hoping to start weights again. Um because that's something I can do right now. I can, I can, my, my upper body's fine. I can even do one-legged stuff. Sorry, guys. A little sleepy. So that is my plan is to build muscle right now. Um, not build it so much as define it. So we will see. And I may have to learn to accept what the scale says because I'll be doing muscle and not burning it so much. So we will see. Um, if you have any questions for me, my husband about our lives, my weight loss surgery, my knee now, my labs, what we do in our daily lives, anything's about Lola. Feel free to ask. We are recording our Q&A video on Sunday. I told him we have to do it. It's in my calendar. I have it set down in my calendar. So we are going to record this video on Sunday, guys. Questions, ask away. Um, next week, Gingy comes to town. <laughs> She comes in on the 22nd, and I can't wait. I am so excited to see you, Ginger. I'm a little nervous because it's like meeting a new person. Like It's like going on an awkward date, but whatever. It'll be fun. <laughs> um, so I can't wait for that, and she will be here. She actually comes in the morning of my one-year follow-up update with my weight loss clinic, and so she will be going with me to that and get to see what my clinic does and everything because everybody does it different, so. Yay! So excited to have Ginger here. Um, we are going to meet up with Krista Band New Life, but um, if y'all want to hang out with me or Ginger or meet us, let us know. Friday we'll be in Tacoma. Thursday, I don't think we have anything really planned yet. Wednesday we'll be in Seattle, but I have school at night, so we won't be out too late. And I know for sure Saturday we are going out to Leavenworth, so anybody in Wenatchee, or Eastern Washington, if y'all want to meet up with a couple more weight loss surgery peeps, feel free to send me a message, send Ginger a message. We'll be in Leavenworth. Going to have some beer. I'm excited. It's the only place I drink beer. It's so good. So I am so excited. That is what we will be doing. Um, thanks for subscribing. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thanks to all my old subscribers for sticking with me. Thanks for the thoughts and concerns on my knee still, guys. It is greatly appreciated. Keep the healing prayers coming because, yeah, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time and not do too much damage as I go along. All right, guys, I will catch you later this week. Bye.